Hello and welcome to App Exchange Mavericks. My name is Jeff Gross and I'm a Salesforce MVP. Today I have with me Brandon Brown, Director of Integrations at UiPath. Today, like no other time, we need automation within business. UiPath has a unique product offering to give us robotic process automation for some of the most mundane tasks to make sure we get them done efficiently and effectively the right way every time. So Brandon, why don't you introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about UiPath and why it's so important and relevant in today's world. All right, thanks, Jeff. Happy to be here. UiPath is focused on hyper-automation, which robotics process automation, or RPA, is at its core. We don't build physical robots. We build virtual smart robots. Uh, the founders at UiPath had a vision. And in that vision, they really wanted to automate the mundane tasks so people could focus on more interesting and valuable work. Uh, we have a favorite saying that says, you know, if you hate it, automate it. You know, we don't automate uh, uh, just a handful of tasks, but also the complete end-to-end -end business processes from helping you discover what processes you should automate to help building them and then ultimately you know, measuring and monitoring on the success of those automations. You know, as you pointed out, automation now more than ever uh, is becoming really a, a front and center a piece uh, that's really dedicated to business survival and competitive intelligence. So Brandon, Salesforce has a footprint all over the business today from sales, service, marketing, e-commerce, everywhere. What makes Salesforce and UiPath such a good match together? Today, many UiPath customers are already Salesforce customers. When they think about where to deploy automation in their product portfolio, our customers continue to request automation in and out of their Salesforce org. In particular, you know, think about how we and our customers you know, want to bring or extract information from other systems and enrich their Salesforce pieces. Uh, we automate across you know, complex processes that's gonna span more than one system and involve Salesforce in some way. And when they want to do this, they typically turn to UiPath to help solve some of these automation problems. Integration to Salesforce is table stakes for any application out there today. But what makes a UiPath connector unique in the way it connects to Salesforce? That's right, Jeff. The UiPath connector really gives Salesforce you know, the automation muscle by feeding key Salesforce data to start a set of processes that you want the robot to run. The Salesforce UI app can be used in Process Builder Flow so you can control the logic and the data that you ultimately want to send. In addition to the connector, we also have a Salesforce activity pack that gives UiPath native ability to be able to use virtually any object within Salesforce. And this is across sales, um, service, or health clouds. This two-way native integration is really unique to UiPath and allows you to automate those processes that flow in and out of Salesforce. So tell us how some of your customers are using UiPath alongside Salesforce. Tavistock is a great example of this. So they're a real estate development company that had already been using UiPath to streamline their lease closing process. One of these processes was to monitor updates that had happened within their accounts and opportunities in Salesforce so they could update the lease system when these changes occurred. When, they, when we launched the UiPath connector in AppExchange, literally in a matter of hours, you're able to further automate this process by automatically triggering that based on those events that happen right within Salesforce. This obviously led to faster response times so they could monitor these lease changes closer to real time. So the world is changing fast, Brandon. What are some of the biggest trends that you see going on within the automation space right now? That's right. You know, now more than ever, automation is at the forefront of companies' minds uh, as they look to how they respond to the changing and demanding needs, something like a COVID had presented to us all over the world. As an example, in healthcare, we've seen UiPath customers use bots to accelerate the recruitment of over 50,000 volunteers and retirees by automating the screening uh, related to uh, HR processes. Also accelerating drive-through COVID testing uh, by automating patient registration and labeling of test kits, something that took minutes and literally brought that down to seconds. Governments around the world and public sector are looking to automate, you know, to help monitor data for local outbreaks. An example here in the United States, you know, we're helping small business administration along with other banks uh, to help validate borrowers by, you know, processing information forms like 1099s, loan verification checks, all while enhancing the security and audibility along the way. All in effort to distribute you know, billions of dollars in needed in small business loans. The amazing part about these use cases, it really could be applied to everywhere, is that it's really about how fast they can do this. You know, we've done this in days and hours, not weeks or months. And that's really the key theme, Jeff, is you know, really driving our customers to focus on resiliency and agility. Bringing the work of months down to weeks and hours down to minutes. This is something that I want to see. So Brandon, would you show me a demo of UiPath and how it works with Salesforce? 
So here's how we can bring UiPath and Salesforce together. We have a simple process that we want to go ahead and grab information from Salesforce based on opportunity from close one. And when that's changed, we wanna open up this training request form and fill out that form so we can submit the training for this new opportunity. But first, you know, we wanna go ahead and grab the information from Salesforce. So we could do that by using the activity pack where we can integrate with a number of different pieces. Uh, we can really look at virtually any object within Salesforce. In this case, we just happen to be using contact and that way we're mapping the inputs and as well as the returns that we need for that automation. Uh, once I've done that, now I wanna go ahead and automate the, the process of filling out that form. We can use computer vision for this, desktop applications, web applications. But in this case, I'm gonna do it for a website. So here I'm using the recorder to simply just tag. So we can see that the robot is, is able to look at the different elements on the screen so that we can automate what the user would ultimately input if they were to do this manually. Right? Once I have that, I can save that, and we did just add it to that process. So here I can edit it, make tweaks if I need to change any data or mappings that we do in that web form. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and wire up that process. Once I'm done with this, I'm gonna go ahead and publish this process so that now we can run this. But how we run this is really what's nice about the UiPath app for Salesforce. This is where we can use this app to configure what we call templates. And in that template is what we specify two things what process we want the, pro the, the robot to run, which we just built. And the other piece is what data do we want to send? So in this case, we have the opportunity and we have a couple of fields like account ID and opportunity ID. We're gonna go ahead and pass the robot so that that robot has context to what it's doing. Now what we can do is use process builder or flow to say when something happens to this opportunity uh, and when it's closed one, let's go ahead and call this new automation. So in this case, it's the training request process that we just created a moment ago. And then once I have that, I can now hit done and that's it. Within Flow or Process Builder, we're able to call that automation. So let's see this in action. Uh, we've got an account called Acme and a contact called Kelly Brown and an opportunity for that account that we're gonna go ahead and change to close one. And again, what we wanna do is set a training request to all the contacts for this particular account. So once that's done, we'll give it just a moment, and now the robot will fire and automatically open up that web form and fill in all the information we dynamically pulled from Salesforce uh, to automate the submission of that uh, training request. And that's it, we're done. So Brandon, I can see where any organization needs this kind of automation to make their business or their organization work better. You provide the tools, the integration, the ability to bring that work into something that can happen quickly, efficiently, and the same way every time. So where can people go to find out more information about UiPath? Sure, they could go to uipath.com to learn more, uh, but also check us out in the App Exchange, uh, where you can learn more exactly you know, what we're doing specifically around Salesforce. Well, Brandon, thank you for showing us UiPath. It's been a great time together, and I wanna thank everyone for joining us for App Exchange Mavericks today. It's been great having you here. <laughs>